Well, more legalese gobbledygook. Finally, I reached the last statement. I'm forced to read out loud. Okay, here it is. Uh, let's see. If I do not possess the nationality of any other country, I don't want any other country, other than the United States upon the renunciation of my United States citizen, I will be a stateless person. <laughs> Stated positively, earth person. I will be an earth person. Yeah, stateless person. <laughs> stateless person? I wasn't born with a state, and I'm not going to die with a goddamn state. Uh, what? And, and uh, uh, face the, uh-oh, most extreme difficulties in securing entry into most countries. <laughs> I smiled to myself. You know what? I'm going to be traveling planet Earth more than all these embassy jokers put together. I'll dress up like my grandmother and go with the smugglers. <laughs> Let us hang me up. I'd rather be an outlaw than a fool slave. All right, the ambassador wraps up the show with, uh, to finalize this uh, legal event, you must read a statement as to why <clears throat> you are renouncing your nationality. Mm -hmm. This is my legal statement, word for word, which is on file with the State Department. Of the United States. My reason is the coming of the Earth people who recognize Goddess Earth. We're coming. There's not many of us, but you know. Uh, yeah, the Earth people are realizing that our world at this moment is fit for. Mm, an infected consciousness, ouch. An infected point of senseless, graceless, destructive view. Yet, okay. Being a being of the more evolved times, uh, I feel natural and assured that I can reflect about Earth, our world. As nothing less. <laughs> I am an earth person. Mm -hmm. This is earth. I have a right to be here. <laughs> to breathe the freshest air here. I have a right to drink pure water here. And I feel that if earth people like you and like me, do not re-pivot the planet at this time into a gift swirl of energy, everything absolutely free. Mankind is intelligent enough to take all the slave shackles off every human being. Mm -hmm. If we do not re-pivot the planet at this time into a gift swirl, everything given free-heartedly, no strings attached, no transactional energy. If we do not do this, we will feel the sting <laughs> of divine rot and our world wink out sadly. And the grains of the winds shall whisper of our unfair distribution of water. Of a species spent in an unfertile probing. Mm -hmm. My mind is completely blown. Mm -hmm. I live in spirit, not mind. Blow it up, mind. But is not the earth a mind-blowing planet whose life 
breath, gift we share, and I dare enough to care for the whole earth. Spiral arm, Milky Way thing. I realize the human cries, the sincerity of the pain, the ache, the blood. Not me. No, not me. I have natural shelter in my cave in the Greek island. That's some rag on the street in Madras. And I have fresh water to drink from a rope and pulley well, country well. You know what? My personal scene's basically together, but that's not true. Obviously not true for every other physical other body. Look at all naivete aside, as you've just heard about, I do not plead uh, uh, or preach passionately about earth people in the disguise of a virtuous man. Mm -mm. But somewhere in the rustle of the night, I became a higher spectrum of seeing. I am that Madras rag boy. And I am the water. I am the new age awareness, seeing us earth people for whom we truly are. <laughs> and who are we? We're the myriaded one. Yeah. Rosy, blue, bluesy, beautiful creature, earth introducing whatever shell. Blush and curtsy to the breeze. Well, okay, last statement. I've got to read off their sheet. Uh, therefore, I absolutely and entirely renounce my United States nationality, together with all rights and privileges, such as a passport, and together with all duties, allegiances, and fidelity thereunto pertaining. Well, uh, the ambassador reacts to all of this. He says, uh, hey, kid, there's no congratulations from me. Could you turn that damn tape recorder off? I am free. What do I do now?